This week in Jamaica now, the aftermath, major fire at Wisinko Warehouse. It took more than 12 hours to put out the blaze and the management says all jobs are safe. Five people killed in St. Anne Road crash. The road death tally is now at 156 since the start of the year. Prime Minister announces NHD benefits for thousands of contributors and the Central Bank intervenes in foreign exchange market to halt the sliding dollar. The details of these and other stories coming up after the break. It's the Great Exhibition, Jamaica's Gleaner 180, an epic journey with the people, politics, sports, culture and so much more, reliving the moment, recapturing the mission. Jamaica's Gleaner 180, chronicling Jamaica's history. Get your copy today at the Gleaner's main offices in Kingston, Montego Bay, Ocherius and Mandeville or at the RJR Gift Shop, 32 Linters Road, Kingston 10. I'm Damian Mitchell in this week for Carlene Brown and this is Jamaica Now. The management of the Wisinko Group has sought to assure workers that there will be no job losses following a massive fire that damaged its warehouse on Thursday. It took more than 12 hours and 40 firefighters to put out the blaze, which began around 4 o'clock, leaving behind millions of dollars of damage. Wisinko CEO Andrew Mafood says the company is now in the process of negotiations for alternative warehouse space. I want to say specifically to our customers, go about business patiently and calmly. They will have to seek some alternatives until we can ramp up and supply their demand. And there were frantic scenes on Thursday after staff members in the corporate office evacuated the building to see the 260,000 square foot warehouse on fire. The heat alone was awful, said one employee. It was traumatic. Prime Minister Andrew Holness in a tweet said the government was closely monitoring the situation and Wisinko Chairman William Mafood says his firm will rise. Prime Minister Andrew Holness has announced that thousands of contributors to the National Housing Trust will be getting loans at cheaper interest rates following adjustments to the income bans and interest rate structure. Among the changes are a 0% interest rate for contributors earning up to $12,000 a week, up from $7,500. This new policy change of the government will positively impact more than 70% of prospective mortgages, significantly increasing the amounts that they can afford to borrow. The Bank of Jamaica this week injected 158 million US dollars in the market to help ease the decline in the value of the Jamaican dollar against the benchmark US dollar. BOJ Governor Brian Winter says the excessive devaluation appears to have been influenced by specific financial account transactions and their impact on market pricing. A three-member team has been given three weeks to carry out an in-depth audit of the Hanover Parish Council. It follows the findings of a probe by the Contractor General that councillors Lloyd Hill and Anthony Walker recommended millions of dollars of government contracts to family members and political affiliates. A school teacher and four men were killed on Friday in an early morning crash along the Lawlands Main Road in St. Anne. It happened after a loaded minibus in which they were traveling collided with a Toyota RAV4, pushing to 156, the number of people killed in road crashes since the start of the year. There were mixed reactions on social media this week to a news story that members of the Koch family have turned to Christ. Camille Sandy Koch says she is now a Christian and her brother, extradited crime lord Christopher Dudus Koch, is now studying theology in a U.S. prison. And that's it for this edition of Jamaica Now, your weekly review of the big news stories. Send us your comments at onlinefeedback at gleanerjm.com. You may tune in to Power 106 FM for regular updates. Follow us on Twitter at Jamaica Gleaner and on Facebook at Gleaner Jamaica. I'm Damian Mitchell, and before we go, dramatic images of the fire at the Wisinka Warehouse and the aftermath. <laughs>